This is the unit 2 of double entry bookkeeping, credit transactions. Credit transaction is a business transaction when no money changes happens at the time of the transaction. For example, A sells goods to B for $500 on 31st May and gives B until 30th June to pay. So the 30th June is the due date. Now some important points. The sale has taken place on 31st May and thus it must be recorded in the books of account of both A and B that is the seller and the purchaser at that date. That, this is the date of the payment. And no entries to record payment are made in their books until B pays A the owed amount. Now let's see who is a debtor and a creditor. A debtor is a customer or a party as sometimes said who owes the business money and in this case be the customer is known as the debtor. The transactions related to debtor arise at the time of sale. Therefore, the entry will be debtor's account debit to sales account. Debtor's account will be debited as per the rule of, of personal account personal account debit the receiver and as the debtor is the receiver of the goods and sales account will be credited the second entry that will be passed will be at time of payment the second entry that will be passed will be at time of payment So the cash account will be debited because the money is coming in and so therefore the debtors will be credited. Is a creditor. A creditor is a person who is the supplier or any other party to whom the business owes money. Yes. In debtor it was who owes the business money and creditor is a person the business owes the money to. Now in the given example A will be the creditor to B because B owes the money to him. Now the entries will be at the time of purchase and will be recorded in the books of the customer. So it will be purchase account debit because purchase is an expense as per the nominal rule and creditors account will be credited because as per as per the personal account rule credit the giver. And again at time of payment will be passed that is creditors account will be debited because they are the one we are paying to and the cash or bank account will be credited because money is going out of the business trade discount a trade discount is a reduction in the selling price of goods made by one trader to another this type of discount note is only given where the buyer and seller are in the same line of business. In the earlier example, A and B will both have to be in the same line of work for trade discount to be applicable. Perhaps A may sell spare parts for cars to B and B may use the spare parts to repair the cars for, their, for his customers. And so, both A and B are in the same line of work, so A can offer B a trade discount. Now most important thing, please remember that trade discount is never recorded in the ledger accounts. Now let's assume the original sales value of the goods was $625 and A provides a trade discount of 20%. So the calculations will be as follows. Original selling price $625 less trade discount 20% and this is 20% of 625 which is 125 and so the new selling price will be $500 now the trade discount is a loss for the seller because of the reduction in the selling price but note yes it is a loss but it will still not be recorded in the books of account and trade discount is a benefit for the customer now, although the original price of the goods was 625, 
the transaction was for 500 only and so 500 will be the amount that will be entered in the books of both A and B. Cash discount. A cash or a settlement discount is an allowance given by a seller to the customer to encourage the customer to pay an invoice before its due date for payment. Example, A has given B one month to pay for the goods to encourage B to pay by 30th June. That is by due date. Now A may allow B to pay less than the amount due for the goods to encourage him to pay before the due date. Now suppose A has allowed B a cash discount of 5% to B if he pays by 30th June. And now B pays by 20th June. So the cash discount is applicable. Now for this the accounting will be done as follows. Origi original selling price $500. Cash discount will be 5% 5 of 500 that is $25. And the new selling price then obtained will be $475. He will now, that is B will now therefore pay only $475. But if B would have paid his due after 30th June, then no cash discount would have given. Recording of cash discount. Now before we start that, there are some important points to be noted. First, cash discounts are always recorded in the ledger accounts. Secondly, notice the difference between cash discount and trade discount. Now trade discount, if you remember, is only applicable if the seller and the buyer are in the same line of business. So that is one point to remember. And the second is that trade discount is not dependent on, on payment being made promptly, but cash discount is. Now let's start. For this, you will need to know two concepts that is discount received and discount allowed. Now, discount received is the cash discount received by the purchaser from the seller of the goods. This is treated as income in the purchaser's book and taken to profit and loss account. Now, discount allowed. Discount allowed is the cash discount allowed by the seller to the purchaser of the goods. This is treated as an expense in the seller's book and taken to profit and loss account. Now, in continuation of the previous example, the entries recorded on the time of payment on 20th June will be like in books of A, that is the seller, the entry will be cash or bank account debit. 475 discount allowed account debit 25 because it, an, it is an expense for A to B who is the debtor 500 because money is being received from B and as per the personal rule, credit the giver. Now the entries that will be recorded in the books of B, that is the customer, will be A, who is the creditor, account debit, 500. To discount received account 25 and to cash or bank account 475 because the money is going out of the business.